Hello guys, welcome to my new video. I'm in Leuven right now. I'm going to show you the city of Leuven, which is a small city, but still there are many things to see. And I can tell you that it's like a very historical city and it's worth to see this city, I suppose. Let's find out together. This is uh, in front of the station. There are many places, cafes, bars. It's uh, such a lovely square. Right next to the station, there is a construction over there. But still, it's really beautiful square. Just welcoming you in front of the station. Leuven is a bike friendly city. There are many bikes over there because it's too flat and there are many students who ride a bike all over the city which is quite nice because you don't need the car to tour around the city you can just rent a bike and you can just visit the city and as I said before Leuven is pretty pretty uh, small city but as you can see there are many people around this street has many restaurants, cafes and uh, sh shops so you can uh, see uh, many places here you can buy something here which is also very appropriate I can say that this is a shopping street one of the shopping streets in Leuven This is Philip's site and this is a uh, running parkour so uh, you, you can walk around here and as you can see there is a tall building which is police center so when you need something you can go there which is uh, which is the biggest uh, police center this police center is open all the time but in the center there is another police center in Lone there are many parks uh, actually you can walk you can visit you can chill with your friends but this is more into running and walking which is very good during corona times this is social sciences of Kyle Logan there are some buildings and it has Pangea which is gathering place for international students mostly so it's a, such a lovely place in general but now during corona time it's a bit tricky because there are not too many people around but in general uh, you can see many people all over the camp campus and I studied in uh, social sciences I can tell you guys that last year it was very good. This is Pangea, which is a place for international students' gatherings. You can have free coffee here, it is possible to have some beers here as well. You can study here as you wish, but due to COVID-19 it isn't really possible to study or chill here easily. I suggest to visit for international students. Here we go. We are in Almatu, which is the common restaurant for uh, social sciences. I can say that this is the healthiest Almat uh, ever, because in Leuven there are three Almas. Now, during Corona time, it's not active, and uh, I don't know when it will be active. As I said before, in London there are many parks. This is one of the best parks, St. Donatus Park, which is quite nice. There are some bugs. And this is one of the world heritage, one of the oldest. And there are many people inside the park and during corona time this park is great opportunity to chill and rest oh 
Also, this is part of St. Donatus Park, and as you can see, you can have a, such a beautiful scene here, and it's very charming. And we have a statue over here. It's so artistic. Namsestrad, which is also one of the longest streets in London. It's also very good. And you can see some bike roads. In every day, there are many uh, bike drivers. Yeah, which is nice. As I said before, it's really bike friendly city still there are some cars but you can see many students and there are some good buildings around this is Old Heavenly Leuven Stadium and today there is match as you can see there are some buses here and there is a theater place and which is very good. I mean, uh, I would like to so show you around inside, but now that's not possible right now. But I assure you, it's also such a nice uh, stadium for such a small city. Yeah. Yes, right now we're in the sports center of Leuven. This is gymnasium and there is a gym, uh, gym sports center and there are some courts inside. And there is another place in down there uh, which has basketball courts and when we follow the path there are football courts as well which are quite big area I, I can say I'll show you there as well yeah here we are we are in the football court this is very good area you can both run and play football and there are some old people as well yeah it's a, such a nice opportunity when you live in uh, Leuven and especially if you are studying in Thai Leuven yeah we are in very good area this is Haverly so there are some forests here and there is Alma tree. As this area has some uh, engineering faculties uh, in, in uh, nearby, I'll show you in the next uh, video part. Yeah, this is really nice here. Yeah, this is still very good area, and uh, the name is Casta Arenberg. Uh, yeah, and the castle is over there I will show you in front of Castle Arenberg but I can tell you beforehand that there are many rivers and waters in, uh, crossing through uh, Leuven city which is really gorgeous this is Castle Arenberg area yeah so it's such a nice place as well. I, I, this is my favorite place in love. It. You can see how nice it is. And many students come here right after their classes. They chill here. You can see there are many people around. It's such a nice place to be. This is Beginhof, one of the first settlements in Leuven. This is the church, and it's really big, gorgeous, and old. And you can see this is a, such a small town, like inside of a small city. Yeah, but. It's nice. As far as I know, this is in 
World Heritage uh, of UNESCO, which is nice. Yeah, some small, nice landscape. This is Udamart. There are many bars, cafes. It's such a touristic place, and you can see always some students are around. It's quite nice. It's such a big area. Yes, we are in famous Lotus of Plank. Yeah, and uh, there is Luna Park settled here. But we have a library. We have the library here, which is quite old and it's really beautiful as well. Yeah. It's uh, one of the historical places as well. One of the most important places in Lower. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. We are in the center of Sloven. We, you can see there are many restaurants, cafes again, and Burger King here, and Bon Sapienza, the famous statue. Yeah, you can see it's also a very good area, and this is a hotel. Now we are in the final destination, which is Grotemarkt. And this is one of the historical places. You must see this. You must see this. It is very good. And, and we have St. Peter's Church here. Yeah, so I hope you like my video. And if you subscribe me and if you like this video, I would appreciate Just please consider. Yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me